welcome to the cabin homestead. I've got a couple of projects going on this afternoon. Uh, wrapped up a search and rescue class this morning. Uh, i got a couple more days of that left to go. But uh, while the weather's nice, I'm gonna take advantage of this time and get these things resealed. Uh, man, the temperature was down in the low 60s this morning. That's rare here in August in West Tennessee, but uh, that's what we're doing. We're gonna treat the bottom of this U.S. Army Improved Combat Shelter as well as this USGI Poncho with spray silicone. Let me show you what I got going on here with that. Scotch Guard outdoor stuff. Uh, I've had good luck with it, uh, so I'm gonna use it on this stuff too. Uh, about every two years you need to seal these things. I do it, I mean, if it ain't leaking, it ain't leaking, but I do my stuff about every two years anyway. Then I have some USGI half shelters. I've got a different project going on with those. So I'm gonna start sealing these. I'm gonna do two coats on the bottom of this tent and two coats on the inside and outside of this poncho. Uh, this tent has a bathtub style bottom. It's a uh, solid black inside line. So I've got something else I'm gonna do to the inside of it. Starting to get a little bit of water in there during heavy rains. So other than that, you know, it's, it's pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and reseal it. and. So that's what's up today, y'all. Let me get this going and uh, we'll talk about it as we go. All right, y'all, we're gonna start with the improved combat shelter. I'm gonna put a nice even coat. I'm gonna start at the top, work my way down. I'm gonna do about half of it at a time. Need to keep this stuff about eight to 10 inches off of the surface, clean or smooth sweeping motion. Uh, if I'm limping around, I've got a busted knee. So I'm dealing with that, but we'll get it done. So I'm gonna shake this stuff up. Uh, need to allow some dry time between coats. Mm. This can doesn't really specify a time, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow afternoon, come and do another coat. So 24 hours on this, probably could get away with a lot sooner than that. But uh, here we go. I wanna make sure I get in all the cracks at the corners and all the seams. So I'm gonna do about half of this thing at a time. Just a smooth motion back and forth. Get a good coating on it. Make sure you don't miss any spots. This old army half shelter came in ACU camo, but as you guys probably know, ACU sucks ass. So I dyed it brown. It helps the looks of it in this part of the country for sure. Doesn't change the functionality of it. <clears throat> but I don't like the ACU stuff. So anywhere you got corners, I want to pull these out and get up in there real good around these seams and those corners. And then I'm going to strip across this bottom while I've got it here. Just to the halfway point. And then I'll start going, working my way back up to the top where I stopped a second ago. All right, guys, I'm going to do this half, and then I'm going to jump over here to this poncho. I know you guys don't care nothing about sitting here watching me spray shit out of a can. So, there you go. There's half of that. You can see that real good on the camera. Uh, 24 hours, I'm going to let that dude dry. So, on the poncho, same deal. <laughs> nothing changes. Uh, you want to pay real close attention to around this hood, where this hood attaches all those seams. Make sure you get that really well. So same drill, start at the top corner. I'm gonna do this one in half too. Just a smooth sweeping motion. Make sure it penetrates real well. You don't have any thin spots or any dry spots. Get the seams extra good, extra heavy. All in these wrinkles right here. I'll try to pull those out if I can, make sure not bunched up, missing coverage. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop right there. No sense in beating a dead horse and you guys watching me do this stupid shit. So, get you some of this. Uh, Atsco makes some good stuff. It's got an orange cap. Uh, they just didn't have any when I got this, but Scotch Gord Outdoor Water Shield. Use it for tents, tarps, ponchos, whatever you got. It's good stuff. Get you some. Stay dry. 
All right, y'all, there they are. One full coat on each. Uh, I'm gonna come back 24 hours from now and do one more coat on the improved combat shelter floor. And then uh, one more coat on this one on the outside. At that point, I'll be done with this one. And then I'm gonna flip this over and do two coats on the inside of the poncho. It's a fucking poncho and I need it to work. Now I've got two or three more of these probably laying around. I want them all to work. They all need to be watertight. So that's what we're doing out here <clears throat> with this stuff. So 24 hours, double up your coats. Two is one, one is none, right? So for those folks around here that uh, have taken classes from us and, uh, you know, hell, five or six, eight, 10,000 at this point probably, or the folks that uh, follow us on, on social media or, no, you know, know me personally or follow us on the YouTube, don't have a lot of followers, don't give a shit. So uh, if y'all haven't noticed from that last episode of me spraying these things down, my shirt is like a fucking curtain. I have lost 30 pounds, give or take a couple, in the last 43 days. Uh, I do this a couple times a year, probably, maybe three times a year, depending on what I'm doing, what I want to do. Uh, I like to play with uh, diet and nutrition stuff. We've got some video stuff coming out on that as it relates to wilderness nutrition and people that are lost in survival situations, right? Uh, factual stuff, not eating the fucking crickets and the bullshit. Some real factual knowledge that comes from doctors and nutritionists. So we'll do some videos on that. That's coming out soon. But weigh what you want to weigh. Get you a new wardrobe. Help out. <laughs>